What happened to the last epoch? If you watch the last epoch video. Oh, the last epoch guys are getting mad. Oh, they're getting mad. 1,000 down votes. Oh, they're getting mad. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Ooh. Hey, folks. This is Riker. And what happened to last epoch? <laughs> He fucking died because it's trash, bro. Overrated trash. Everyone was talking about this game. Every ARPG streamer was playing it. It felt like every content creator was jumping off the sinking ship that was the SS Diablo 4 bad. That was a meme, by the way, chat. At least not bad. I just, to be clear, as Ellie's not bad. I just think the, the end game is fucking bad. I think the end game and the reality is that the parts that want it, the end game is just trash, right? The end game is just trash. It's, I can't stand it. It's awful. It's not playable. It's fun to go through, level a character up, do the campaign once, optimize your guy, optimize your build. But once, basically, then it's like, holy shit, this game's trash. And do you know why? Because they ain't got, the actual gameplay, the moment to moment combat of the end game sucks. Uh, specifically, like, bossing is just awful. Awful. And that's it. I'm gonna and on to this I'm gonna life going. raft of Last Epoch. They fixed that? That's good. something strange happened. And there was good reason that Last Epoch was so popular. It was everything that so many people who were disappointed in D4 wanted. A game with a rich skill system, deep itemization, crafting, a solid endgame offering that has a fun gameplay loop and meaningful progression in it, and a robust trade system as well that doesn't penalize players who refuse to trade. And I remember being at the last Epoch booth at Gamescom this summer in Germany, and 95% of the people that I spoke to who tried the demo at the booth expressed disappointment in D4. <laughs> Yo, D4 is so bad at making another game successful, bro. Like, they just were playing last Epoch because D4 was just that bad. They're like, yo, fuck that game. I just gotta play something else. Hey, Ellie, log in and said they were loving Last Epoch. Even a lot of Path yeah, of Exile just... players loved Last Epoch. It was basically a version of Path of Exile with a lot of bloat and complexity trimmed away, but still with a richness of depth to it. So if Last Epoch was everything that everyone wanted, why is no one playing it anymore? When it launched- oh, Bro, out... it's just, re... bro, it's ARPG. It's called seasonal content, all right? They're gonna play, They'll people will play Last Epoch again, during the downtime of the current season and whenever the last Epoch first season starts up. That's how ARPGs work. Um, but it's going to be, I, I think the longevity is going to be very limited. I think longevity is going to be limited because of the fact that it's got such shit in game. People are going to come back to last Epoch, make a character, get bored really fast and quit really fast. It's going to go off a cliff until they fix it in game. Until they make bossing in that game good and the actual in game like feel good to like continue investing time. People, it's just going to fall off a cliff, bro. Every time. But people will come back. People are going to come back to Last Epoch. I will come back to Last Epoch. I'm going to play Last Epoch. If there's nothing happening, if it's not a PoE League, not D4, there's no game releases, and there's a Last Epoch League, fuck it, dude. Log in. Why not? Play, play a little stop a new guy. Try out, see what new shit they put in the game. Fair enough. Of early access on February 21st, Last Epoch peaked at over 260,000 concurrent Shit. players on Steam within days of launch. But by one month, wait, 264? PoE Steam can't wait. PoE fucking shit ass Google. All time peak 209k. 209k. Oof. Oof. Get one. But then again, you gotta remember that. The peak of PoE is still higher than Last Epoch because Last Epoch's exclusively now. Uh, well, it used to have a launcher, but I think it's exclusive to Steam now, yeah? So, yeah, Dead League. 63,000 people, that's quite a lot, right? 20, 20, 20, like that seems like quite a lot. 60K people? Holy shit. Please? Last Epoch was seeing less than a third of its peak player base still logging in daily. Today, we're less than two months since release, and we're seeing about 16,000 peak daily concurrent players. Now, That's still a lot. 16K on, there's still a lot. Fairness, 16,000 is still a respectable number, but it does represent only about 6% of what the peak was at maximum hype less than two months ago. 94% of people have stopped playing Last Epoch. And the question is, why? Is this just normal new game attrition? Or is this part of a bigger looming issue?
before we dive into the bigger picture, we can see um, that. Um, it's a combo, right? It's a combo. I, I think it's a double whammy. It's it's not. You can't just. But it's, it's always. It's like with any problem. It's not just one thing. I think a this game was hyped up because of how bad D four was. Right. So then that's going to give them an additional significant boost. Do you guys remember last Xbox like biggest ever peak ever was after the la it was after the D four uh, beta test. And then we no everyone wanted to play ARPGs, but there was nothing out. And then last Epoch had like an event, and it was a new patch, and it, it was the it was huge, it was fucking huge, and it was just literally because D four. And I feel like last Epoch's riding the D four hype train, and then it rode the D four bad hype train, and that's an artificial boost that's not going to sustain, right? D four bad, you know, how long will D four bad go for? Uh, who knows? Soon D four is going to be good maybe forever at a look at and then the shit end game and the shit bossing and like the shit replayability of the game naturally makes it fall off pretty hard and a few other analytics tells the same story google search interest in last epoch is down to six percent of what it peaked at around launch and youtube search interest is barely better at about eight percent of their peak on Twitch, this game went from an average of 21,000 concurrent viewers throughout its release month to about 400 concurrents today. By comparison, Bath of Exile Holy sees an average- Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, wait. Bro, dead game. Dead game. The first month of a league and maintains a few thousand towards the end of a league. And even Diablo 4 sees an average of a couple thousand concurrent viewers. Now, I'm not one to point to Twitch metrics to say a game okay. is dead, but for those who do... That's unfair. D4 is like a brand new game release, AAA, huge marketing. There is literal D4 buses driving around in Auckland right now, bro. D4 buses. Point to that and say Diablo 4 is dead based on its Twitch numbers, then Last Epoch is a pile of ashes. And to some degree, this Show is sign point. ebb and flow of players whenever there's a content drop. One new ARPG that's trying to break from the mold in a number of different ways is No Rest for the Wicked, which is releasing into early access today and is a sponsor of today's video. Moon Studios, the developers of oh, Ori, dot those weapons, create all your craft videos with the studio head. Fuck. A game that so successfully pulls off the modern ARPG formula lose 94% of its player base. It's not because a competing ARPG released new content. Diablo 4's Gauntlet certainly didn't pull people away from Last Epoch, and by the time Path of Exile's Necropolis expansion launched, Last Epoch's numbers were already way down. Did some other hit game like Pal World or Helldivers 2 come along to steal all the players? No. Unlikely. No. Pal World released in January. Helldivers 2 is a very different kind of game. People realized that the in game shit, bro. That's the reality. Remember when everyone was attacking me, chat? When I was like, dude, this in game shit. This sucks. And then I quit and everyone was, it was a big drama and everyone was mad at me. And like all the last Epoch stands were out in force. You guys remember the drama? You guys remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't one guy. It was millions of guys. I went, I even checked the reviews. Yeah. You guys remember that shit? That was a classic. That's a classic. If you were there, you were there. All right. It's, it's the reality. That's it is what it is. And also released a little earlier than last Epoch. Is it just normal for new games to lose so many players so quickly? Well, Sometimes, sure. If you look back at other big games that released so far in 2024, you see that Pal World was an insane smash hit that reached 2 million concurrent players on Steam on January 27th. And now it's only seeing 66,000. It's lost 97% of its player base, an even Shit. worse figure than Last Epoch. But Pal World is kind of a, an outlier. No game on Steam sustains millions of players, except for maybe Counter-Strike 2. And 66,000 still keeps it within the top 25 most played games One on Steam. million people Eldivers currently, that's crazy. 458,000 concurrent players on Steam on February 23rd. That's a little bit closer to Last Epoch scale. And today it's still at 167,000. That's almost two months later and it still has 36% of its player base. Tekken 8 reached 50,000 players on Steam on January 29th. It's down to 12,000 now, that's 24% left. Sons of the Forest peaked at 54,000. Following its You're launch. comparing like like AAA to indie shit. It's like it's not really comparable, right? The level of marketing, like I mean, Tekken is like a whole fandom, right? Um, 
Tickets an entire fan. Out of early it's access on February 22nd. It's down to 10,000 players today. That's about 19% left. Now, last debug was far more popular than these last two games, yet its player counts today are roughly on par with them. And before you go and say, well, Held Average is a different kind of game, it's meant to be infinitely replayable. I mean, ARPGs are meant to be games that we could play for hundreds and thousands of hours. We're not talking about a single player RPG that you're done with after one 30 hour playthrough. Now, I want to be explicitly clear about something throughout all this. None of this is a criticism of Last Epoch. This is a symptom of a bigger problem with modern ARPGs. Last Epoch is a great game. It has tons of depth. It has all the systems in it that it should have. It, it checks all the boxes of what fans want included in an ARPG. Is it perfect in every way? No, but it's an amazing game. But after you spent a couple weeks with it, leveling up a character, oh, delving weeks. into the end game, you've pretty much experienced there it is. what there is there to is, experience. There it is, because ain't nothing. It's pretty Maybe shallow. you can squeeze out some more playtime by trying out a few different builds, but for most players, yep. you're basically done. There just isn't enough end game content to keep most people going there for longer. And I'm is. part of that 94% who stopped playing. I love Last Epoch, but I don't see myself playing it again until the start of the next cycle. And I'm sure a lot of players are going to return to that point. The numbers are going to jump way up again. I mean, he's basically describing it. What's the point of this video, then? What's the point of this video? Because that's just how it works. That's how ARPGs function. I mean, I don't understand what he's trying to describe. Yes, that's, that's just like, he should do a video on ARPG seasons. Don't get me wrong, though. I do agree, specifically, last year book was overhyped. And people were standing the fuck out of it. And there was a full-on, that weird-ass toxic positivity where the last epoch stands were getting really fucking rabid and they're attacking anyone who would say anything negative about the game and they were leaving lots of false reviews and fake reviews like saying it was like the best game ever and it, yeah it was one of those things where no there was definitely something there hopefully hits on that hopefully hits on the pox you know toxic positivity and the fact that the end game sucks and boss fights in the game completely suck and yeah the, the end game lacks it lacks depth right and then after a couple more weeks, they're going to peter back down. We saw the same thing happen with Diablo 3 Seasons. Everyone comes back for a week or two before disappearing for the next two and a half months. Path of Exile's retention fares better, but even then, half the players are gone by week three of a new expansion. And two months in, we see about 20% left. So when even Path of Exile, mm. the most content-rich ARPG out there, with the greatest amount and variety of endgame content to engage with, can't retain more than 20% of its player base after two months and is down to like 10% oh, after. People don't want to play the same game forever. Right? That's just how humans work. Otherwise, I'd just be playing Elden Ring forever. Right? Or I'd be playing, or I would never stop playing PoE, or I would just log into Terraria and I would just play Terraria forever. No, if Terraria releases a new boss or a new endgame, like, oh, an expansion, it's got five new bosses. Well, now I want to play Terraria again. Okay, but I don't want to sit there and play Terraria forever. And that's okay. Games don't need to be played forever. And the way that ARPGs work is, it's a cycle. It's a refresh. You play the game, you do the new shit, you enjoy it, you have fun with the character, you stop playing. You're like, all right, that was fun. I'm going to come back for the little fresh start economy reset uh, with the new patch, with the new balancing, and the new content, and you play it. And that's how it works. For three months, how could a new kid on the block like Last Epoch hope to do better? For a game released by a small indie team making their first game, Last Epoch has been a huge success. They sold a million copies before they even fully launched. Path of Exile has had 10 years to add endgame content, and... No new game can possibly match that. Every new ARPG is going to feel smaller in comparison and like it has less to do in the end game. And honestly, that includes Path of Exile too. And I'm concerned about it. Now, the irony is that both Diablo 4 and Last Epoch suffer from the same problem, a lack of end game content to keep players engaged in the long term. The difference is that Diablo 4 had some other major systemic problems, but even when all that is going to be fixed, we'll ultimately arrive probably at the same place we are with Last Epoch. There's just not enough end game content to keep most people playing for more than a And, you know, he needs to specify the Last Epoch end game content fucking sucks, right? Like the boss fight. I've not seen a single boss fight in that game that I would say is good. 
Not even one bus fight in the entirety of Last Epoch that even comes close to just like Act 5 Kitava. Literally. A few weeks. Last Epoch proves that even when you do everything else right, Straight players up. are content gobbling monsters with voracious appetites. And the way modern RPGs are built and balanced, the way they release new content, the way the end game loops are designed, it results in a formula that is simply unable to sustain long-term engagement for the majority of players. And I think that's the issue. Modern RPGs are basically being developed to be devoured in a couple of weeks and then set aside until the next big content that's drop. That's how it works. Players have come to expect this pattern from devs. Well, imagine how depressing it would be, boys. <laughs> imagine just playing the same game forever, bro. <laughs> devs have come to expect this from players. So rather than see devs attempt to shake up that formula to improve retention, to come up with a, a different plan, We've just sort of grown complacent that this is the way things are and that they're fine like that. I'll never forget That's years good. ago, hearing the Diablo 3 dev acknowledge that people come back to play Diablo at the start of a new season and then they disappear for two months to play other games and that they're fine with that. And that blew my mind. Why are you fine with that? I'm not fine with that. I don't get to know what? No, Riker! They don't want you. What do you mean? People don't want to be chained to a game. Is he saying they should implement systems that just arbitrarily extend players' playtime, like like hooks and chains, like, oh, you need to log in for your dailies, and there's also weeklies, and there's also this extra bullshit, and you can only access the content once you've logged in every day for, like, 17 days straight. That would be terrible. No, that's insane. They can't possibly make a game. They cannot possibly make a game where people want to play it forever and ever and ever. The only reason people played D2 for as long as they did back in the, in the, other day, like back in the day is because there was no other fucking options, for example. That's, if D2, literally, if D2 had competitors and there was other games with seasons and shit, guess what? People would have stopped playing D2 and would have played. The only reason people continuously play D2 is because there was fuck all other shit to play. And, and it, and guess what people would do? They'd either play D2 for a fucking little stop playing when they realized there's something else to play. The reality is, I don't want there to be artificial hooks. I don't want there to be... I don't want devs to sit there and, like, let's design a way where they have to play the same game forever. That would just be awful and bad. Right? I, th I think it's terrible. I think, that, I think the uh, seasonal thing is perfect. I love it. I love it. It's, it's, it's cool, right? Isn't it cool when you stop playing PoE... You leave it for however many months, and then you come back, and there's new shit, and it's like all fresh and shiny again. It's exciting, dude. It's Pog. Right. Diablo 2 was a game that I oh. came home from school eager to log into every day for months. There were no new content drops. We got like three major patches throughout the game's entire lifespan. The core gameplay... I, 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 why aren't people playing T2 right now then, Riker? Why aren't people playing? Uh, like, that's really, why don't you just go play D2 then? Ask yourself that question. It's pretty simple. Itself was enough to keep us hooked. I want to be able to log into my ARPG of choice every day for months, years, and not get bored. <laughs> I what, dude? Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy, bro. What the fuck? Yo. I can art this take is insane. <laughs> I tell you what, maybe in the future and we have like AI dev games where they can just generate infinite content and it can just keep going in some sort of procedurally generated infinity universe, maybe with multiplayer massively some sort of procedurally generated massively multiplayer online game and you could just play it forever and ever. But that, the current way it works is it takes a certain amount of time to make a certain amount of content and it takes a certain amount of time to get through that content. And once you've done that content, it is what it is. And then they can artificially incentivize you to do the same content over and over again. But guess what? When you keep doing the same thing over and over again, it becomes less and less fun to the point where you just want to fucking end it. And that's when you stop playing the game. Right? Sort of, I just, I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Throughout my life, I've always found one game to get fixated on for a very long time. 
and I'd play that game near exclusively. StarCraft, Unreal Tournament, Diablo 2, Unreal Tournament 3, StarCraft 2, Diablo 3. I spent years on each of these games. I didn't stop playing them after a month and just wait for new content to drop. Now, Diablo 2's model would not be able to retain players today. There's more competition than ever. Gaming exactly. has a Exactly. So, yeah, there you go. How is he not understanding that? So, wait, he's just he's dismantling his own argument here. That's good. Okay. Evolved, and that just means that the ARPG genre needs to evolve. We gotta find the new special sauce that it takes to keep us logging in every day. No. Now, until that happens, no. the good news is... It's okay to stop playing something! And not only is it okay, it's beneficial! to go away and not do something for a while. And then when you come back and do it, it feels way better. That's the reality, bro. It's better, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Guess what? If you have sex every single day, bro, every single day, back to back, six, 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 it's good the first few times. You're like, hell yeah, the sex is fucking good, boy. And then you start getting it to the point where it's like, ah, oh, fuck, okay. And then you get used to it. You do, it's called it's hedonistic treadmill of you just get you get used to the shit. And it's still good, but it's no way. Okay, now let me tell you, bro. Ha, let me tell you. If your partner's living in uh, UK and you're living in New Zealand, right, and you ain't seen each other in five months. Oh damn, man! God damn, bro. When you get to the hotel room, brother. Oh, you know what I'm, what I'm saying is. It's been a long time. It's been many months, but you get there and, you know, the breeding kink kicks in, boy. All right? I mean, what I'm trying to say is it's way better. Which is why not only is it, should they not be trying to fucking force you to log in every day, it's literally a good thing. Because when you come back to POE after fucking three months and you've been playing d4 which is fucking heinous bro you like d4 man you get to appreciate you get to appreciate the fucking uh you know the game the end game the character design the class design the weight the the new sh you get that pre and you're like hell yeah bro now that's what i'm fucking talking about and you're fiending bro you're fiending which is why people who sit there and they play the same game over and over again do you know what they do you know what I turn into these like these sad pathetic not even game enjoys they've not even a game enjoyer they just complain oh man well so bad oh well so bad oh it's so shit everything shit oh, i fucking hate this dude league of legends such a dog shit game oh my god i spent log in every day and i play it guess what but if you're like an enjoy a game enjoyer who just comes back when the expansion comes out you fucking hyped, boy. You didn't play WoW in fucking two years. And there's a new expansion. You're logging in. You're poking out. You're having a good time. You get to... And it makes it more interesting and more fun. Straight up. Straight up. We got a bunch of great ARPGs that we can rotate through whenever they release new content. We can have a blast for those couple of weeks before we say, okay, there's nothing left to do, and we move on to the next game. We're kind of entering the golden age of ARPGs now. But once one ARPG finds that new special sauce, that's gonna be the ARPG to rule them all. But that's just my thoughts, folks. What nope. do you think? Sound off in the comments. Uh, Thanks for it, watching. If you enjoy this- Completely disagree. Completely disagree. I do think there will be a game though that's coming uh, when the next 10 years, that's going to be massively multiplayer online and it's going to integrate AI in a way that creates insanely huge, massive, complex, interesting worlds. And it's going to be like basically infinitely re replayable. It's kind of like GTA RP, right? Except at a much larger scale. Because he is. God damn, damn. God damn.